All right, I'm going to do a quick uh, demo on Avid's clipboard and clipboard contents. And this is related to a uh, more involved uh, PDF, which I'll be sending. And maybe someday I'll do a more involved uh, demo. But I have the uh, command palette open already here. And uh, essentially, the clipboard is mapped to your C key. And that's this icon. Uh, we have then clipboard contents, which sometimes can be uh, somewhat confusing to me. And then we have lift and extract, which you're familiar with. Of course, we're using the what is old is new again icons in uh, the latest version of Media Composer. But essentially, all four of these icons involve the clipboard. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, anytime you remove something from the timeline, I'm going to mark, park the blue playhead, hit T for target, option T because we've got a situation here where we have no clip and I've got Dustin Hoffman here from the uh, the film Lenny about Lenny Bruce okay so that's what I've marked now I'm gonna lift that out with the Z to lift or weightlifter or X to extract and I lift that out and it goes away it's gone bye bye see you later now the fact is it hasn't really gone away it's uh, actually temporarily stored in the clipboard now so where's the clipboard well you can come up to your source window and say well uh, why don't you load clipboard contents? Now that used to be here. Maybe it's a right click thing. It's in here somewhere. Clipboard contents. Yes. Okay, boom. Hey, there's Dustin Hoffman. I've been missing him. Um, so if I'm over here and I, uh, I mark uh, Quentin Tarantino, I mark that and I extract. It's okay. Where did Quentin Tarantino go? He went away. Well, I could come up here and load clipboard contents if I can remember, you know, how to get to that, uh, that feature there in the source window. You can also do it over here in the timeline as well. Uh, essentially what's happening, anytime you lift or extract, you're uh, temporarily taking something out of the timeline and stowing it in the clipboard, and then you can load the clipboard contents, and you can see the clipboard contents is uh, actually a subsequence. Now, rather than doing that, you can actually open under tools, something called the clipboard, or it should be called clipboard monitor. Yes, it is. And there's Quentin Tarantino. Wow, who knew? He's there hiding and what's he have to say? Orgasmic rhythm. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so anytime you lift uh, out orgasmic rhythm or something else, you're gonna you know stow that away over there. So you can actually then you know take that material and cut that in somewhere else or maybe in a completely different timeline over here. And what do I have? I have a random uh, demo timeline here for showing trimming, stuff like that. So I'm gonna put my playhead here and hit G for Gone Baby Gone, clear the ins and outs, and select my two tracks here, and uh, put the green playhead for the clipboard monitor over there, and I can do, do a regular splice in, uh, and there's Quentin Tarantino in all his glory. Orgasmic rhythm, orgasmic rhythm, orgasmic. Okay, that's a bit redundant. Um, so let's undo that. So yes, that's, that's fine and dandy, and you can load clipboard contents over here. I guess I could still load Tarantino, and uh, there he is, and I don't really need to have the clipboard monitor open. And by the way, uh, Dustin Hoffman is still there too, because I have clipboard contents one and clipboard contents two. Okay, that's one way of uh, dealing with this stuff. Uh, by the way, I've been doing uh, lifting and uh, extracting, and that, as I said, automatically loads that stuff into the clipboard. Uh, I'm gonna uh, command snap and mark here in this timeline. I got a bunch of, bunch of countdowns. I'm gonna turn on my clip frame so maybe it's a little easier to see and there they are I've got a, a blue red and a yellow countdown and I marked that stuff and uh, in addition to using uh, lift and extract you also have C which is actually copy stuff to clipboard and I have mine actually uh, mapped with the option button so I'm revealing uh, the the punchline here uh, the punchline is you can hold down option and instead of having to open up that clipboard monitor or coming over and loading the clipboard contents, option will automatically uh, load the clipboard contents right to the source window, the source monitor for you. So that's pretty convenient. So there's my three countdowns right there. And meanwhile, you know, Dustin Hoffman's still there and Quentin Tar Tarantino's still there. So you can use the beauty of the, uh, the pull down menu here to uh, temporarily subsequence material to the source window. So in more detail here, we have a, a Captain uh, Harness and I'm going to uh, option T him and 
I marked his video track and I can select his uh, lower third and his audio as well. That might be helpful. And I can uh, option lift and by holding down option, I've copied him out of, uh, I removed him from the timeline here and maybe I want to come down here and get rid of my in and out points. That's always uh, something that trips me up, old in and out points. I put the playhead here, the playhead's there, and I can go ahead and splice him in down here. So I can grab him and move him using that technique, option lift or option extract, or if I needed to have multiple, this material repeated for some reason, I'm going to uh, mark that and, uh, and copy it. Now, the other thing is, by the way, you don't have to mark, you can, uh, you can lasso and segment select and I have something turned on, I believe, in my last demo. So I'm just going to do quickly uh, turn that off. And it's called uh, Dynamic Lasso and more on that later. But so I'm in regular Avid Lasso and I'm going to option lasso this stuff. I have Dennis Hopper here uh, from Apocalypse Now. I've just got a lot of random stuff here, countdowns, Dennis Hopper. Uh, so I'm going to option lasso that stuff. Now, uh, if I just want to copy that and I've mapped... Uh, Option C, um, now the reason why this isn't working is because I have a segment selection and not a mark selection. However, you can Command C and you will copy your segment selection. So I just did actually Option Command C and I copied those three countdowns with the uh, filler in between. And then suddenly, for some reason, there's Dennis Hopper and Apaco Sound uh, with his audio saying, Okay, I gotta trim that once I load it back in. I'm gonna put my playhead over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and splice in those four clips with the, the audio for Dennis Hopper over here. So there's a lot of options in here. There's Z, X, and C. Primarily, all three of those buttons use uh, marks and timeline tracks, but then you can do segment selection, uh, such as, I'm gonna hold down options so I can select these three guys, these three countdowns. And you can use Command C for that. Better yet, you can use Option Command C, and you'll Command C is just going to load that to the clipboard. And where is it? I got to open the clipboard window, or maybe I have to come over here and load the clipboard contents. That's a lot of steps. Uh, so I'd rather do Option Command C for the segment selection. But there's the three countdowns. That's one way of getting to them. And I'm going to uh, lasso Option Lasso within the tracks. The captain with his uh, lower third. And then I'm going to Option Command C and copy him. And there he is again over there in the source window. Now you might have a more complicated timeline where that comes in handy, such as this little thing for the Navy Seals Museum. And that will load up. And this might look a little more like the content you're used to working with, uh, working if you work at Frontline. Um, so I could Option Lasso all this archival with this audio down here, go all the way down to the basement and highlight all that. And I think I want to shift select this and these effects down here. And then I can option command C and then I'll get all that stuff loaded up into the, uh, the source window. And the other thing about the source monitor, of course, you can then toggle the timeline and um, look at all those cuts and I'm going to hit G so I have all the pictures turned on so you can see all that stuff you know let's say you were just having to move a bunch of archival out of one timeline into another and you say well I just really only need you know from here to here and then of course toggle your timeline back um, so there's those kinds of scenarios and meanwhile you know uh, Dennis Hopper and Quentin Tarantino and all those guys are still loaded in my well, source monitor so the source monitor can become a temporary repository for basically sort of subsequences using this technique. We go back to uh, maybe a simpler timeline, such as Splice is Nice. This is uh, get some odd cuts between Fog of War and Psycho. You know, this is for classroom purposes. So. But anyway, one of the things about using Command C over C is basically you can do that segment selection and you can't do that with just regular copy to clipboard. But the other advantage to Command C is even if you did a mark uh, scenario here, again, holding on Command to snap to this guy, and then I'm going to come all the way, way out here to this shot from Potemkin, and I'm going to turn off, uh, I don't want those tracks, and I don't really need that stuff. 
uh, that's just filler. So it's a mark selection this time. Command uh, Option C also works for mark selections as well. So all that stuff copied over there to the source monitor. So I'm going to refer you because I could go on. There's a, a lot of variants here uh, with this stuff, but I'm going to refer you to the uh, the PDF, which is about four or five pages of explanatory stuff on all this copy to clipboard, option copy to clipboard, option command C, um, which begs the question, why do we even need the C key? You don't really, you can pretty much get everything done for the clipboard copying with command C for segment selections or mark selections. If you're gonna remove stuff with lift and extract, that requires marks and tracks. Uh, there is something command X, which you can use um, which is another variant on that theme. I'm going to lasso all this stuff and I'm going to do option command X and I extracted that out or I lifted that material out because I had the red segment arrow uh, highlighted and I copied that layered stuff out. Anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, I refer you to the, and you can see here's the tracks, here's the layers in the source window, here's the source timeline toggle me back to the regular timeline. But yes, between segment selection, mark selection, and whether you're doing command C or command um, option X in that case to lift with the red segment arrow, or regular old marking and lifting or marking and extracting, uh, you've got some options there. And for all intents and purposes, you're just making temp temporary subsequences that you're loading into your source window and you've got a list here I think of you can do up to I forget 17 or 18 uh, elements loaded into the source window and they will stay there temporarily if you're just rearranging a timeline or you just need to grab some elements out of a timeline of course when you close or crash that all gets cleared out so just be aware of that but I will refer you to the uh, PDF and stop recording right now